Good morning. So, today's just like last minute errands. I've been packing all the makeup and everything. Oh, this is for, I'm going to Texas tomorrow for a week for my sister's wedding. So, that's why, in case you are brand new. Um, I'll show you guys everything I've been like packing because kind of how you know what I really, really like. <laughs> as far as like things that I guess last long. Okay, so it's raining heavily now. I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow, so I hope it's not like a heavy snow so we can still get on the plane. So I went to CVS and I picked up another hair dye, the L'Oreal Feria, um, the V38. I'm gonna dye my hair tonight. I'm gonna, um, and then I got a bottle of the Milani in number four for my sister because she is like a shade darker than me. So, I'm not gonna use it for her wedding. I just want her to have this like foundation in general because I think she would like it. I'll be gonna find an empty cushion for her. Went into TJ Maxx and everything was fine. You come out, it's like pouring. Oh, they did give you free like, free um, wrapping paper, which is nice. I mean, this is random. I got like kitchen stuff. This is like one of those like silicone things that you can like clean like glasses and like long bottles with. I've been thinking of using it to like clean my hookah sometimes. And then baby whisks. When I make my coffee in the morning, you guys know I make like that three in one. So it's like a, I have to mix it with like hot water or like milk. So sometimes the very bottom doesn't get mixed perfectly. So I was like, I'm gonna get some. I kept looking for like baby whisks and I finally found them. And I wanted them to be like metal because the kind of plastic ones, they don't do as good a job. Kind of excited. Okay, that was very successful. Now to go home and continue packing. Okay, so I know I haven't vlogged. I've been here every day. It's been like doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. But I want to share this first outfit with you. It's for the tea ceremony. Um, Makeup is kind of usual things. We have a necklace, this jumpsuit. Let me do this instead. We have a jumpsuit. It's by Antonio Milani, I think. And it's from Dillard's. Super cute. These shoes are just kind of gold shoes to be, you know, comfy. But you know, the whole thing is super adorable. I'm sweating profusely. Um, and then to go with the necklace, I have like, how do we do this? Like a band ring. Two bands, you know, nails. Uh, if I remember what the nail polish is, I'll link it below. It's like two coats of something, one coat of another. Okay, this is my sister. You guys have never seen her before. Hello. Doesn't she look so Hollywood glam? We came up with this look no, like look. over the course of, just look in the, up there. I'll go higher for oh, you. Okay. There. okay, so I'm gonna show you guys like full body. It's like amazing. Okay, so I mean we're doing our tea ceremony now, but I dragged her up here to get a breather and to touch up her makeup. This is everything. This is big. I did this whole thing. I'm so Literally proud of right. myself. Can you do a little spin? Yay! Oh. Okay, so we have people who are leaving, so she had to go say bye to them. So, but you guys had a pretty good idea, right? It was like super beautiful. Um, it's so hot outside. Oh, you're vlogging like a little bit. Degrees, yeah, we'll just vlog. This is everybody that made today way better and easier, especially Janice. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Presents. Hi, Mooney. Oh, this is Mooney. She's always giving kisses. This is my sister's dog. Hi, come here. Oh, hi. I love you. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. We were just taking some family photos downstairs. The photographer, my sister. Okay, so this is just a family dinner, but it's the same day. Oh, look at her pose. I don't even Hi. pose like that. Okay, so this is one of those like all in one dresses. You just keep like flipping it and flipping it and folding it and knotting it. Show the back, show the back, show the back. So our mom did this. Yeah, my mom's super creative. She's <laughs> kind of like, you know, whatever, just throw this together. Like it's no big deal, right? Mm -hmm. Let's get a close up of the makeup. It's kind of, we need to like, touch it up. But like from today, it was like so pretty. Was. It is <laughs> gonna be pretty again soon. And her hair is kind of, you know, you know how it collects into like one big curl. But yeah, this is what we're doing. Okay. Staring at your shiny cleavage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna share my outfit. So this necklace you've seen, it's the bubble bar amber, right? So we know it's like really good quality. And then this other piece with like this circle and then a bit of a drop and then more chain here. This one's from AliExpress. 
it was probably like two dollars but combined i'm like really into it we have like a very low cut um top and then we have some earrings i think i've showed these two before forever 21 like bamboo and then the whole entire outfit is very kimono-y can we see i'm like very enjoying it hair is the same hair is gonna look the same every day because this hairstyle takes about five minutes my sister hair sister hair oh my god i'm so tired my sister's hair takes like 45 minutes to an hour so and then this is the entire outfit i don't i feel like i'm not super in love with the way this is tied i actually this is mirror dirty in a weird way yeah okay so it's kind of what it's same shoes from before and we're basically just gonna go out for sushi i have like some fun food things i want to share with you so maybe we'll get that tomorrow tomorrow's the actual wedding which is actually way less stressful than whatever happened today today i was up at like five and then just like nights and days of like doing hair prep, makeup prep, shopping for a dress, finding a necklace, getting the right shoes. It's just been like. You want the mouth wide open? That's the best pose. Uh, sure. Whatever ends up working. Okay. After she gets her. I know. I know that. <laughs> oh, I hope these vlogs are not like totally weird or this footage isn't weird, but I want to show you guys my dress um, It's by David Meister. It's kind of you know drapey and fun It's kind of similar to the dress my sister wore for I know toilet um, For her tea ceremony mine is one shouldered you have this kind of folding here and then you have a little kick kick here and then you have That in the back super cute. Oh my god. This lighting is so hideous um hair i did not do it <laughs> we ran we were here like an hour and a half late probably um can i show you the rings hold on we can do this this one is like a little pinky ring i think i've shared with you guys before it's from like nordstrom this is a ring i bought when i was in dubai so you know them real diamonds um these earrings are from forever 21 i bought them and I never wore them so it's like really nice to kind of you know have an event for them and then the shoes are literally the same shoes you've been seeing the whole time did i not show you my face now i feel stupid okay again there's ridiculous overhead lighting in here which is making my eyes look massive but can we see the back of this dress oh this is just hideous hideous lighting it makes it look like i, I literally looks makes me seem like i have a diaper butt even though i like don't have underwear on okay how should we show this makeup Okay, essentially, I don't know how good this is showing, but we basically put, I'm saying we, because I'm saying essentially like me and my sister have like the same products on. So Tarte Shape Tape as the first layer. And then Milani Perfect and Conceal as the second layer. The Well People Brightening Powder, which I picked up another one during the Birch Box sale. And eyeshadows are the Viseart. Huda Beauty. Our lips are ColourPop lip pencils and Givenchy lips because they just stay on, you know? And the lashes, Boudoir from Kiss. I could also show you guys, it's like a mess now, like nothing is in, it's like proper container. Face brushes, um, we have pretty much a mixture of Wayne Goss, some MAC, Tom Ford, um, and this is all like concealers. We have NARS, we have Tarte Shape Tape. We have the contour palette, the Graftobian. It's like so heavily used. You guys see it all the time. This stuff, oh, is it gonna focus? This is the Bare Mineral Stroke of Light. Um, I got it in shade three because it's a really good corrector. And I mentioned I'm bringing this, this, this stain concealer from Skin Food. Oh, so good. Like literally you do not have to powder this. And we have the eye tools, I guess. We have mascara, we have by Terry and Marc Jacobs for like eye bases. We have our Surratt lash curler. What is this? Oh, this is really good if you guys want to like, it's like, it's from Amazon, but like, you know when you like are doing your hair and you just need to look a little more perfect, like thicker where you're parting your hair, or if you have kind of like sparser spots, it's like really, really good. I know there's like more expensive ones like Wow and whatnot, but this one is excellent. Eye brushes. We have Tom Ford. We have some Isom, Mac. 
What else do we have here? Oh my God, it's Kat Von D. I concealer brush. Oh, so good. Also wrong container. Um, I think that's more or less it. Oh, and a lot of Zoeva. I'm gonna pick up some more Zoeva brushes. They're really, I would say, out of all of the brushes, like Morphe, Sedona Lay, Sigma, Eco Tools, Real Techniques, any brand that's not like, you know, mid to luxury, I highly would recommend just buying Zoeva brushes. They're so good. I don't know if they've created like a US website yet, but I mean, I get mine from Selfridges because I bought their like, you know, Global Plus or whatever, but oh, they're really the best. The Viseart palettes, what a beauty. The Natasha Denona, all three of the all like the all over glow powders, the Fenty powder because it's excellent for kind of just setting just like a smoky lash line. Um, the Rock bronzer. We have Charlotte Tilbury in like two and three. I really haven't used them these two that much. Um, the Ulta banana powder for kind of you know underneath the contour. This is what I've been using a lot, pretty much on everybody. The Sicily bronzer. It's just it just looks good on everyone. Um, I have my Milani Perfecting Conceal in here. I have NARS blushes in here. I know blush. Did not really touch them. I just brought them in case somebody wanted to wear blush, but not really necessary. This excellent, excellent lip balm. The Well People powder. Tons of beauty blenders. We got gum here. Brush cleaner. We have Bosha. Blotting papers. What else can I share with you? This stuff. The Orbe Apre Beach. This is a godsend. I am obsessed with this. I feel like I need to buy another one because like literally I use this the whole week on everybody. What else can I share with you? <sighs> I think that's it. I'm kind of like exhausted. I feel like maybe there's like, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes left. Also, we keep requesting the kind of music we want and the DJ just like refuses to play it. We've requested a specific genre. We've requested specific songs. And he just refuses. Anyway, okay. So tomorrow I want to share like treats, like candy and like food things. Um, I've wanted to vlog meals, but like, you know, we have a lot of like, not just my family, but like the groom's family. So it's like, I don't want to just like whip this camera out and confuse them. Um, yeah. Okay. One last thing. These are like a little like favors that we picked out. They are like a double happiness for those of you who are Chinese or read Chinese and you know what I'm talking about. Aren't they just adorable? They're little bottle openers. Super adorbs, right? Okay, bye. Okay, this is the bride's final outfit of the evening. This is a Ralph Lauren. It's super like old school, I love it. I don't even see dresses like this anymore that they make. But there's like a beautiful drape in the front. Spins, and then in the back it's kind of, oh, that was too fast. <laughs> yes, there, yeah, but it's super gorge. And we just kept the same jewelry, but now we can get detailed jewelry. This is from Nadri, I've talked to you guys before. This brand just does like the most beautiful stuff. And then these bracelets are also Nadri. All of our nails look the same. <laughs> Okay, these are the boots by aerosols that I was like wanting to share with you guys. But they're so cute, right? Do they even look like aerosols? Also, the back panel, fabrics, stretchy. There's a full zip. I don't know how they made them so comfortable and super pointy. When I first saw these boots, I was just like, oh, these are really cute. But then I was like, there has to be something orthopedic about them because they're aerosols, but there literally isn't. They're just super comfortable. And I just bought another pair because they're that amazing. Oh, OTD. This is a top from Forever 21 a while ago. And I just have leggings again also from Forever 21. They're a little moto. And then these shoes. I feel so swollen, but these boots are so comfortable right now. So basically this is the kind of like bridal stretching. Um, this is the kind of end of night outfit to kind of help clean up, dance a little more. That kind of thing. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, so I am back. I'm going to work. Um, I got in around midnight and I'm very tired. <laughs> I mean, naturally. <clears throat> so, Friday, it's been Tuesday, Thursday, no, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three, three days, four days since I've been back. I don't know if I've ever been like this tired in my life. It's kind of
kind of ridiculous. I'm like a morning person. I wake up, I, you know, I take my time, I make my coffee, you know, you let the skincare sink in. I might do some dishes, I might put away some dishes. You know, like the morning is kind of when I tend to get things done. You know, you throw something in the wash. Oh my God, I thought that was a real deer. Okay, that was not a real deer. Um, but the past, the first two nights I was back, it was definitely very hard to get out of bed. Last night, no, the night before, you would think that I've had a little more time to rest. No, I slept straight through my alarm. An hour later, I was like jumping out of bed. Do you know the last time I slept through my alarm? Never. I don't sleep through alarms. I wake up, like I'll roll around in bed for a while, you know? Ugh, sorry. Um, but I get up, it might be a couple minutes. I don't hit the snooze button because that's a slippery slope. I always find it very dangerous because I feel like in college, a lot of people use the snooze button and it is so dangerous <laughs> to use that because you just, you definitely will sleep through it. I mean, I don't know, I can't do it. So finally today I woke up and everything was pretty good. So, oh my God, so much construction. <sighs> I have a chiropractor appointment today. I'm so excited. I'm just like, just from like being on my feet, wearing heel, heels for like two days, and then um, like doing my sister's hair and makeup for like five, six days straight, it was just like a lot of standing and being in heels. Um, I might even book a massage, guys. I feel like I'm one of those people that doesn't do those things and I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I'm like I need to start doing these things like getting massages I also have a week off in December and I'm like should I get like some kind of like laser done or some kind of peel done like my skin is good it's fine but like you know how you like I kind of want to do like a reset on it you know like press the reset button and kind of have like a brand new something um I'm positive that I have sun damage that you don't see. Like I'm sure if I went under one of those like, what are those things that show you your sun damage? I would probably have tons of sun damage because I don't wear sunscreen. I know that's bad. I have been so much better like this year because I have found like sunscreens that I like, but it just, I'm sure. On a positive note, having pizza for lunch today, very excited. Oh, and I also got my period yesterday, and that's probably another reason why it was so difficult. It's just been like, work. I've been like the dumbest person at work. I feel like I come across as maybe like a more put together person. Like I know what I want to say, I know what I want to do, I know how I'm gonna do it. However, small tasks have been difficult, like taping something. I remember trying to take, tape something onto a folder, and it was just like the most <laughs> intense process for me. And then I realized I had to do another folder. I know guys, so dramatic. Making appointments was like, some guy called and was like, hey, you know, I stopped in yesterday and we talked about this. Like, do you remember? I was like, no, I literally did not remember. Like I remember people coming in. I mean, come on, first of all, can I tell you how many people come in trying to sell me this service or that service every day? Lots of people, whether it be over the phone or in person. So I didn't remember him. I should have just said, oh, I, rem I remembered, but I just couldn't, I couldn't even process like social cues. And then like making plans in person, like making a meeting in person was even difficult for me. This guy came in, I'm trying to get this meeting into my phone. He's giving the correct month, day, and date and I am just struggling like making these I'm like okay wait so like November he's like no December and I'm like okay so Thursday he's like no Friday and I'm just like making up a date that doesn't exist it's just it was rough he was probably like how dumb is she yeah it's just been oh my god I'm being so dramatic right now two days ago I've never had that situation where you're like this is how I'm gonna die you know you see those memes but this is literally this moment I was eating and then I started choking and I was choking so hard and it wouldn't go away and you know I was trying to like calm myself I was just like oh my god this is how it ends like I'm going to die alone in my house because I choked on like vegan jerky 
It was just like horrifying. It was very sad. Over, like I was over. One more day, one more day of work. Maybe I'll come in tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be the last clip of the vlog. Um, I just wanted to like put everything, like all the like Austin, Texas stuff in one vlog. So I'm gonna show you the stuff, like food things. It's a really random haul because we went to weird, not weird places, but places you wouldn't, you're like, oh, on vacation, you're not gonna, okay, whatever, shut up. Chinese grocery. From what I can see in Austin, there's just this one huge plaza that is um, like their Chinatown. It's like obviously way better, still better than what I have here. So I went into the supermarket. These are like, it's like a lot of sweets. I already showed you guys the golden lemon, those like gummies, which I mean, I'm sure you can find in a lot of places. I don't see them by me in any store that often. So the first thing I got, this is the bag I have not opened. It's these like marshmallows. They have like a little, just like a very slight little like jelly center. Really yummy. The first time I had these, I think I was in Hong Kong and we were there for like, my ex was there for like business and I was just, I think there was like a beauty convention going around. So I was going to that, but that was also kind of just like wandering the streets alone. You can do that when you can speak the language. Don't do that if you don't speak the language. I've tried to wander the streets in countries where no English or Chinese is spoken and that is, that feels very uncomfortable. Um, long tangent, right? But these are so good. The first time I had these was in Hong Kong. I was just kind of like, you know, wandering around the streets and they're just like stores that sell like all candy or like, you know, all like medicinal, you know, like almost like an apothecary type store. I'm having a rough time, guys. Can you tell? I'm still. I still look so tired, right? Okay. So yeah, these super yummy. I don't know if you guys have had them before, but out of all the candies I had picked up when I was there, these were like my favorite. So when I saw these again, I was like, yes, I will get these. Okay, these are called. These are by the brand Golden Bon Bon, and they're nougat. The first time I had these was like at a Costco, like one or two years ago, probably a couple years ago. They were sold at Costco and we got some and I was like, oh, these are really good, but they have the flavors that I like the most. This is like the blueberry flavor and this is a new flavor I haven't tried before, which is coffee. Um, they all have like some nut in them, usually like a hazelnut or an almond, but these are my two favorite flavors. The, I think it's a Canadian brand. So like the first one I ever had was probably like a maple syrup flavor, which is obviously really good, but these are my fave. This is the last most favorite thing. Okay, this is the Casa Okinawa brown sugar milky flavor tea. I saw this at the supermarket. It's called MT Supermarket and I was like so intrigued because I like anything that says brown sugar on it. Now, as far as like Asian culture goes, when you see brown sugar, it's not, the taste is not the same as the brown sugar that you imagine, not imagine, that you have here, like in the US. From what I gather, like, Translated directly in Chinese, this flavor translates to black sugar, um, which makes me think it's more like a molasses flavor. If anyone knows, let me know. I think specifically in Taiwan, this is a very popular flavor, so if you guys want to chime in and let me know. But basically, yes, it's this molasses type flavor, and it's delicious. The first time I had this was like, it was in between like two little like biscuits, and it was just like this gooey, ooey, super chewy, sticks to your teeth, doesn't come off your teeth type texture of a of a filling this is so good we bought one um box and everyone just says you know specifically me but everyone else really loved it too so my mom had gone back because i was helping my sister with something and there was only one box left and it's mine it's so good this is random we went to walmart to pick up like i think we had to find like some kind of fabric, a ribbon, or whatever. So we're in like the Walmart craft section. And I have to remove the tags from pretty much all of my clothing. I would be the worst fashion blogger ever. I think that's sometimes why I veer away from fashion blogging because, not blogging, I would never like do that specifically, but like I, it's hard for me to share outfits because I really, I cut the tags out of everything because it irritates my skin because sensitive body skin. So this is a seam ripper. This one is so nice. I guess I haven't seen this one by me in my Walmarts, but like it's an ergonomic handle. It has like a little bit of like a grip 
and it has a nice cap just everything about it is really nice so random i know at marshall's i got these socks they're so i mean you know these are like at home winter socks or socks that i could wear with like you know, i don't know boots that are too big for me because clearly my feet are shrinking um yeah they're by nicole miller they were a two pack i think i lost the price oh no 5.99 we were in there looking for like shoe inserts which we did find for cheap lastly i guess i would consider myself pretty asian as far as growing up in the u.s goes and we know i don't really consider myself girly but you know this is like the one really girly and really asian thing about me is that i love hello kitty um we were at this japanese gift shop which here's the thing you go into any japanese gift shop it's always extremely overpriced and it's like a lot of unnecessary things i mean unless you go to like daiso daiso is pretty good as far as like keeping the prices down and things being like affordable but you're not finding hello kitty stuff there um i understand the trademarking and you know paying to use a trademark but i saw this and i was like oh my god so cute also her butt is green and i was like oh this is so good and it was like under 30 bucks i think it was like 28 or 29 dollars so i was like kind of excited I'm like i kind of i don't have toys like i don't have like plush toys i'm like i haven't I don't do that but I was like should I just keep it in like the bag but then I realized that it's like a ziploc you know like I guess I could take the tag off but like I can like remove the hello kitty if I wanted to I didn't realize this until like my sister noticed it I'm like what do I do she's like it was my brother someone was like so you basically can remove it and cuddle it and then put it back in the bag I was like I don't know if I'd do that, but okay. This is one of those like ridiculous things where it's like you just have it to have it because you guys know like I don't buy like I don't buy like decor like I don't buy like a, a like a what do you call it? like a dog figurine because it's cute like everything has to have a purpose like you know like a tray, uh, a flower pot, a it has to contain something you know what I mean like it has to hold something so this is just really frivolous but really adorable maybe at some point i'll just take it out of the bag and like have it somewhere i don't know okay so this pretty much wraps up the i guess austin texas vlog um obviously my sister was like my main priority like she i just had to make sure that she looked like absolutely fucking amazing for every photo at everything that we were at where pictures would be taken and just in general i just wanted her to look and feel like really awesome um, so I definitely took a back seat. So like my hair is like not done really, which is not that big of a deal. My hair not done, still looks kind of done, but went full glam on her. I always made sure like her outfit like was the best and like, you just, I don't know. I'm just, it all turned out so good, but I just don't think I made for that. Or maybe if I practice more, cause be, the idea of being like a makeup artist or a stylist or something would be so fun, but you're on your feet a lot and it's a lot of feet standing. So also, I was doing the description box for the video, and a lot of the things, I tried to link as much as I could. Um, where I linked them is not necessarily where I bought them, it's just where I could find them, because a lot of things I found in store. Also, a lot of the stuff, like jewelry or shoes, they're like from back in the day. Like, they're just stuff that I had. Like, a lot of her outfits, like the green dress and the, red, the black and gold, like, those are my dresses, so I've just had them for a long time. So I can't really link them. Um... I tried to find something similar though if I could and then I guess I don't know this this vlog had a lot more like people in it family vlogs um, I will try to link more family vlogs below that have like in the past if you haven't seen them or if you miss them or whatever if you're interested curious whatever that kind of thing so I'm gonna wrap this up today is Saturday I am probably gonna change clothes if I have time before I have to leave I'm gonna share all the things that kind of came in from like Black Friday shopping online or Cyber Monday or just like PR stuff so I will see you guys next week bye